Welcome back to For the Record. Child care has been a significant debate in the state capitol, in effect to try to get more young parents into the workforce. After months of Democrats pushing for more funding, Republicans introduced their own child care proposal this week. Political reporter Will Keneally shares the perspective from both sides of the aisle. Now let's take a look at how we got here. It started earlier in the spring where the governor wanted to extend a federal pandemic era program, which provides direct funds to these child care centers. Now to extend the program, it would have needed state money, and Republicans later took that out during the budget process. Now earlier in August, the governor called for a special session in September to compel Republicans back into the session to debate the issue. And just this last week, Republicans introduced their own plan. So included in the plan are provisions to raise the ratio of child care provider to children. Also to allow for child care savings accounts, essentially like health care savings accounts, pre-tax that people can use for child care. Now we spoke with one of the bill's authors, Representative Joy Gobin. She used to run a child care facility and we started by asking her what are these issues that impact the industry here in Wisconsin? Not enough people working in child care. I think that causes uh, increased expenses. You have to pay the ones who are there more money. That raises the rates and people are having a really hard time uh, paying for that for child care. We also touched on the specifics of each bill and whether they would get support across the aisle. We need to get these conversations started um, and a child care savings account that shouldn't be controversial. Um, allowing certified providers to care for the the, um, the maximum amount that they are already certified for, whether or not the child is related, that really shouldn't be controversial. Um, creating a large family child care center, uh, which allows an increase of four children with another adult, that really shouldn't be controversial. Um, these are good ideas that should go forward and um, let's find solutions for our child care issues, uh, not just, not just you know, shut down because it, I'm not in the right political party. And we asked what this means for the long-term sustainability for the child care industry here in Wisconsin. Child care counts, we keep hearing that it was cut from the budget, but it wasn't cut from the budget. It was never in our state budget. It was a federal program that gave money to help us get through the pandemic strains. We also hear that we have a large surplus of money and we should use that to continue the program. But that surplus is one-time money and child care counts um, isn't going to be sustainable. So we need to look and try to find solutions I have had people say we have a broken child care system. So um, let's look at trying to find ways to fix that system. And unfortunately, from the Democrat side, I haven't heard of anybody who are trying. Let's look at the system itself and see, are there areas that we can help, that we can improve? It is a hard industry. I worked in child care. I ran a child care center for 10 years. I understand that it is, it is wearing on you. Um, but if we put supports in place that can help instead of just putting money on it, that's not, I don't know that that's truly what's needed because we need to fix the system. On the other side of the aisle, we spoke to a Democrat who's been at the center of the child care debate here in the Capitol, Madison Senator Kelda Royce. She says that the Republican plan is only an effort to deregulate the industry and does nothing to fund the child care centers themselves. Child care is incredibly important for our economy and our employers. We know that one of the main barriers that people have to employment or to being able to take on more hours of a promotion is lack of affordable child care. We've had a long running crisis in this state. In the last less than 20 years, we've lost more than half of our child care providers. People in half the state are in a child care desert, which means that there are three kids for every single slot that's available. It is the most important thing we could do to address our workforce shortage, to make sure that we stabilize the child care industry and don't lose any more child care slots. So obviously you're a joint finance dem. Uh, you've been through the whole budget process um, earlier this year. Uh, why is the special session the right way to kind of tackle this issue now heading into the fall here? Republican legislators stripped out funding for child care counts, which is the important program to stabilize the child care industry during the budget process. Now we are seeing the impact 
around the state with child care centers saying that they are going to close if they don't get these funds. We cannot wait any longer. We need this issue addressed and we can't wait for Republicans to come around on their own. I think that individual Republicans uh, will hear from their constituents as families face radically increased costs or child care centers closing down. Um, I think that Republicans will start to realize that they need to be responsive to this or they will pay a political price for, for not doing so. Hearings are expected on the bills next week. We'll be right back.